In this video, we're going to see how to set up a protein gel electrophoresis system. This is the BioRed system. We're going to show you how to set it up today. So the first thing that we need are the two glass plates that we have here. Now, there are two different plates, two different sizes and shapes, and with different characteristics. This is the short plate, just a plain piece of glass cut to a specific size that we're going to need. And then the other plate is the back plate, or the large plate. And this plate comes equipped with two spacers, so you can see on each side. And there are different widths. This one is a 1.5 millimeter uh, width for the gel. So you can see here they're tapered at the end. And you can see also it's written on the, on the glass, uh, the word up in BioRad and the 1.5 millimeter uh, indication. So you always want to make your gel in that orientation. Okay, you can see here a little bit the 1.5 millimeter. So what we're going to do is to place the small plate on top of the large plate. And in this way, we're going to create a chamber. So you can see here where the spaces are. When we put the small plate on top, you get this space in between the two plates. And this is the chamber where the gel will polymerize between the two plates. And if we look on uh, the top side and we turn it around, we'll be able to see that um, the short plate is uh, shorter than the long plate, obviously. And uh, we're going to create this uh, space here where we're going to introduce the liquid gel to polymerize and then also where we're going to be able to load the samples once we have our gel polymerized. Okay, so the first step is to, to clean the plates. And you should probably wash them with soap and water. For the video, we're going to show you just with a few drops of, of ethanol. And you want to clean them very well with a paper towel. And be especially careful to, to clean right next to the spacers, because this is where most of the time we get a accumulation of, of polymerized gel or dry gel. And this is what we want to get rid of. We're also going to clean um, this face of the small plate. Again, probably it's better to, to clean it with soap and water and then with the ethanol. But in any case, for the video, this will be good enough. So we're going to put the clean part of the small plate onto the, to the back plate, to this plate with the spacers. And then what we want to do is to make sure uh, that they are perfectly aligned. So we have to put them onto a flat surface and uh, obviously it's crucial here that the two plates are perfectly aligned uh, because if they're not if they if uh, if they're not even you would when you put the liquid gel solution inside it will leak out so it won't have time to polymerize so this is why it's so important to make sure that you put the two plates together on a level surface and make sure that they're perfectly aligned like we're showing you here okay so what we're going to do is to uh, put these two plates, now that they're cleaned, into this support. You can see here it has these two doors. Uh, when they're in this position, they are open, and then you uh, put them towards the outside to, to press the two plates together. So what we're going to do is in this position, insert the two plates. And you can see here that they, they fit perfectly, and they're actually, you can move the support up and down and make sure that the two plates are aligned uh, perfectly well onto your level surface. Okay, so then what we have to do is to open these two doors and this will basically press uh, the two plates together. So you can see here that now they are, they are pressed together, uh, let's say pinched into uh, the support system. And you can see here how they're perfectly aligned. And this is, like we said, one of the key points. So we can see that this uh, support, this green plastic support, has um, a stand on the bottom, has two uh, plastic parts that are keeping it um, straight up. And what we want to do is to insert the two plates within this green support into this clear plastic support. And what we can see here is that we have to uh, angle it so that the bottom part of the gel um, is going to be placed on top of this um, rubber gasket okay 
So you want to try to align it like this and get the bottom part uh, as close to, to the, the wall of the plastic support that you can. In, angling like that and then you press um, there and, and basically mm, that will um, pressure the glass plates down onto the rubber gasket. So you can see here what the gasket looks like. So this will basically seal off the bottom part of the space between our two plates as we saw before. So this will make this chamber uh, liquid tight and, and this is how we will uh, polymerize the gel. Okay, And that's it.